Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17, and today I'm going to be covering a number of topics. Uh, let's start with the main one, the reason why this video got delayed. Uh, I hurt my back. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so, no, it was not a TwitchCon. Though, again, I will talk about TwitchCon, and actually I do have the Duel with Friends you, uh, that you give to the person at Lenovo, Intel, that booth. It wasn't run by Twitch, it was Lenovo and Intel. Oh, the cat's here, She she's checking it out. Um, but yeah, so essentially, uh, I went to work out with Ace, uh, since he doesn't live actually too far from me. Uh, I, uh, mentioned how I've been wanting to work out, uh, wanted to start out this weekend, and fair to say that me doing a bar squat did not pan out all that great, so I hurt my lower back. Luckily, it doesn't look like any spinal injury, uh, though... I am being extra cautious with that. Uh, it looks like it's probably tearing um, uh, or uh, something of this, uh, I guess, tissue and muscle in my lower back. But um, yeah, it still hurts like hell. <laughs> and uh, right now I'm on pain meds. Oh, so sorry, pain meds, muscle relaxers, uh, steroids, and I have a, I, I, I put on uh, packs on my back to help. So trying my best, trying to make sure I exercise in terms of stretching and moving around while getting some rest um, on, and also keeping a good posture. Uh, luckily, um, I, ha I got a form from my doctor saying, hey, take it easy from work, because I let them know where I work, and they're like, yeah, just in case for your safety, we're giving you a form so you don't uh, possibly injure yourself more, because I can't really lift all that much, um, just for safety purposes. Uh, so yeah, I hurt my back, and that will be affecting stuff in the future. Luckily, um, I have some, I, again, I have a great girlfriend who's taking care of me. I have uh, plenty of meds to assist. Um, although tomorrow, I assume, is going to be hell because the day after, usually an injury is the worst of it, and or the two days after, roughly in that time period. Um, but luckily, I have enough stuff to make sure the muscles don't tense up too much and hopefully relax. And uh, again, the fact I can, and, and again, if you do exercise, if you can uh, pee, <laughs> or you know, if you can use the restroom, and as well as if you can, um, uh, you don't have any weird movement or numbness in your lower body, it's a good sign. I do want to be cautious, so I am trying to take it easy, not uh, just staying in bed. That's also a very bad idea to stay in bed for days. That do that doesn't really help. Uh, but yeah, stretching, making sure it's okay. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do for the next like three to five days. So we'll see how this goes. Um, let's talk about fun stuff. Let's talk about TwitchCon. Look what I got at TwitchCon. Uh, I got one for my girlfriend as well for a Jigglypuff, but I got every Quaza uh, thing. This is actually, I think was it Taco Shop? I want to think was the name, but they custom designed this like Pokeball and uh, they I got a Rayquaza, which is fantastic. One of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, yeah, it's in like a lava environment. So it was either this or it's gonna be like a snow one or urban they didn't have it actually no they didn't have an urban it was probably this or snow and the reason snow is because one of my favorite probably my f second favorite pokemon movie is the one with uh the deoxys one uh and it has two deoxys fighting rayquaza it just as a in a, it's a consistent like tangent filled movie and i actually quite like that one um but yeah no it's pretty damn cool but uh moving on from that uh, I also got some other cool stuff, pins and other things from TwitchCon. I actually got to, uh, meet a, n a number of people, which was awesome. Uh, first up, let's talk about Co3. Yes, I did get to play Co3 there. I messed up there as well. Um, turns out, um, I probably should have let them know I was coming, but to be fair, I didn't know Relic was going to be there. The message they sent was the literal week where at my job started going into, like, craziness and it has not stopped since and probably would have continued but with my back i now have mando sick time so hey positive news there i can take a breath because i've been working a, a decent chunk of overtime yeah so a number of people got to go to gamescom and play co3 also i will try to give uh my picture that i got with a co3 dev again thank you Andy for uh, taking time out of your day for just saying hello and uh, helping me out and you know just talking that that was great again I meeting someone on the relic team is fantastic and 
the fact I was able to just sit down and be like, okay, what's the thought process for this? What do you guys, what, like, what what do you guys think of this mission? Because I did play a mission that uh, they do describe in the article, which is why I'm not going to go too much detail. Um, because, again, you could just read it there. But essentially, it's an airfield mission, but it's different from the airfield mission that you played in the pre-alpha, right? This one as well, I don't know why. I think maybe it was a they modified it, but I couldn't get any light vehicles or medium vehicles. Or at the very least... Uh, I I did as soon as I realized I couldn't get it, I was like, hey, I don't care. I'm gonna try something else. So what I did instead was got heavy infantry and stole all the German AA guns and then have uh backed up my army with American half tracks with either AA components or AT with the I think a 75 millimeter gun, which was really solid. Um but yeah, no, I destroyed a lot of Axis infantry. The armor was a big part, but airstrikes and stuff really helped. Um, and the airstrikes were better. Uh, that's what I was concerned about. But the airstrikes were uh, very much uh, more proficient than how they were in the pre dock mission, which is something I complained about. Um, in this, I know they said this mission is an older build, and that makes sense if it's, if it's from Gamescom. It's definitely an older build. But the Italy was a wider map. It wasn't sectioned off, so you got to play the entire Italian mainland uh, in terms of going from one sea to the other right um there was still two main missions you could play and i did a pair drop while upgrading them to drop on the airfield to take it so that was quite interesting um i also uh messed around with some uh the companies and units and what i also liked was for the companies because uh, i got to go more detail was you can see every single unit within your company so you have a basic idea of how your army is going to function so if you're going to do upgrades, it is nice to have that quick reference. Be like, ah, yes, I could use that. And the cost here is different here. So that could work out for my strategy. Or this could work out for an early game push. Or whatever may have you. Um, again, I, the more clarity and more uh, details given to the audience, I feel is really, really beneficial. Um, so it did not have the UI upgrades, though, I will say. So that's, again, uh, some things to point out. Uh, they recently put a screenshot showing UI updates. Which, again, looks great. Not going to go much detail because other people have. But I, I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, and I think by the time Code 3 releases, I, I again, I am very happy the community has been so involved. Because this shows you how much that, you know, Relic is actually listening to the community. What else was there? Also, I got to play other stuff than Code 3. Um, I also got to play uh, was Street Fighter 6. Which, again, I'm not a huge Street Fighter fan, but my girlfriend loves fighting games. And, I again, this is something that's actually surprising to me. She loves fight stick fighting games. So, her favorite is Tekken, but she's good at Street Fighter. And I will be honest, she beat me. Uh, they had two options, controller and uh, fight stick. And fight stick was the one she picked, of course. So, we played that. And, yeah, she kicked my butt a number of times. Um, there are also some games that I thought were pretty interesting. There was a game called Metal Core, which is in early development, that I was able to play the alpha version of. It was only 5 on 5. They hoped to get to 50 on 50. But the big kicker is mechs. Oh, my God. These mechs were so much fun to play. And, uh, again, my favorite was actually the small mech, not the large one, because the small mech could go invisible, but had a consistent laser that was highly, highly effective at killing aircraft and even hurting any mech I fought. So I was killing so much and just rushing around, and it was hard for them to hit me because I was just dashing across the field and then going invisible to dodge shots. Though they could still pick me up if I got close enough through scanners. Um, again, some cool stuff there. Uh, really enjoyed that. And, again, it's kind of like a Battlefield Conquest mode. Um, where there's objectives you need to take, and if you hold it, you win the match. So that's stuff I, I actually quite enjoyed. There were other smaller games um, and some uh, just like more arcadey games that I, I also enjoyed. Uh, and I'll get to that maybe a little bit later. But overall, again, for a selection of games, I also played um, some newer releases like Grounded. Might be something I play with like maybe uh, my friends. Uh, that's, and again, it's on Game Pass, so it's very easy to pick up. But again, it was cool because Microsoft there also had a giant spider that you could take a picture with. Uh, some of these uh, I, I won't show because my girlfriend's there, but some of them I will. Like, for example, there was a giant Pog Champ emote. That was pretty cool uh, that I got a picture with. I also got a picture with Bo Cohen 1. Yeah, so I met Bo Cohen, and I met uh, Golden and College. Uh, suffice to say, uh, they're all fantastic. I, again, um, 
very, very nice, uh, very adamant about like, hey, again, it's like, thank you. Like, we're trying to make sure we meet everyone here at TwitchCon. Like, it was Sunday and I felt so bad because I walked by them. I might show this picture. Uh, I walked by them when they were playing Co3 and got a snapshot and like waved. Uh, but unfortunately, again, they were busy with Co3, which is cool. They got to play it. Um, I, like, I got to talk to them about that. It was also really cool. And hope I don't know if they did, but I did mention because they thought there was only multiplayer. But there was the multiplayer and single player that people were playing at the booth. So I, hopefully they had enough time to swing around and play the campaign because uh, they feel like that had a little more variety than just playing. Uh, you could play the British against the dock i believe i think that's the mission you could play it, it was either the, the jock or the, the dot jock the dock or the um the vermock up in italy one of those two but i'm thinking it was the dock but don't quote me on that you can actually go to college's channel and check it out if you want to see his gameplay and Bo and golden are there i watched little snippets of it meaning to catch up on that to see their overall opinion but no it it's Still, it's something that I, uh, I, I I thought that they did pretty well with. And another thing that I enjoyed was the fact that uh, they asked me questions about the veterancy system. And uh, was it uh, Golden was like, so where do the Vermont have the veterancy system? Because I really like that. I'm like, no, the Americans do. And they, actually, it's like a you can pick how you upgrade. And he's like, oh, is so he was like. I, again, well, they did have the Americans, so it makes sense he didn't know. But if you played the campaign, you played as the Americans. Or you could, I think there, yeah, there were British forces you could also play um, through their company. Got a picture, was awesome, super, super happy about that. And yeah, no, just had a great overall time at TwitchCon. I got a number of panels, so I'll be trying to upgrade my stream stuff when I can. Um, but again, I want to try to get as much bed rest as possible because just sitting in this chair can <laughs> hurts like hell. A uh, bit, but luckily again, I have a Herman Miller chair, so it has better support for my back, which helps keep it straight. I also, of course, have my TwitchCon badge back here. I'm gonna be adding some um, pins and stuff, but I want to make sure they're displayed because I got a Code Three Dev one, which was cool. I got a number of other pins from charities. I hope to use uh, for um, was it? I hope to use in the future uh, from from charities, so that way I can donate to charities might not be because I, I know last year i did the thousand dollar one we're going to shrink it down maybe do smaller charity events stuff like that i i feel like uh, that would be a cool way um i also as a quick uh shout out i did get the body pillow that's right ladies and gentlemen gray shop productions body pillow coming soon i just need to figure out how to sell it so here's one of the images there's two and yeah uh feria you will be getting yours i just need to work on how that's going to be done probably we'll get that done this week so that way I can, and uh, I'll message you uh, if I haven't done so already about uh, sending you that. So enjoy your body pillow that was well-deserved after your donation in last year's charity event. I, I think it's my, I had a lot of uh, self-esteem issues trying to make it because I was like overcorrecting the artist and then the artist got sick of me, which makes sense. Um, but my brother and his girlfriend did it and I think they did a fantastic job. So uh, thank you guys to them. I also changed around um, a couple things. Uh, let me see here. What was the other thing I wanted to bring up? Uh, the changes. Oh, my stream deck and other things. I want to make the stream better overall. So some stuff. Also, winners. I should probably go over the winners because I, I feel so bad because I was meant to do this days ago. So uh, there's a couple things. Uh, we all the main guys for first and second place should have gotten their funding. So I want to make sure that's clear. Everyone should have received their funding, and I have documentation through PayPal that they received it, which is great, with no fees taken out of their thing. So second place got $65, and first place got $195 per person. So overall, I think it was 700 and – wait. It, yeah, it's $780 that went to the first place team, and then, of course, 260 that went to the second place team. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. But that still leaves a lot of other teams, right? So – um, I got, so overall I got, uh, about 29, yeah, it was, yeah, okay, so I got 1,295, no, sorry, $90, no, $95, uh, for the, ch uh, chair, not charity, the, the tournament for Clash of the Conscripts, right? Um, again, congrats to, uh, was it the, um, <clears throat> was it Spicucci? I, I know, I know I'm much butchering that name, but that's, I, I, I'm sorry, I haven't paid, I'm like wrapping things up. Spicucci for winning and Cope Script second, right? But uh, 
yeah, congratulations to them. But there were secondary prizes. Uh, first up, we have Cult of Skippy. Uh, those went to the memers. The, so I'll be messaging them to make sure that they get their... I can only do so many people on PayPal for certain amounts before it freezes up. So I'm slowly going through everyone. Apologies, um, this is taking a lot longer than expected, but I want to be as transparent as possible, especially with delays. Because Cop uh, the, the tournament got delayed three weeks to try to make sure both teams could fight each other. And then now, of course, PayPal's delaying that. But luckily, all the big things are done, so hopefully I can send out a lot of these small ones as soon as the last two people finalize to make sure they accept their PayPal stuff. So that's cool. Anyway, yeah, the memers uh, won Cult of Skippy, and that award was weirdest strat that won a match. And they had a number of strats from mass armor with T-34s, uh, false shoemakers, all sorts of stuff that they tried to do in order to win. Plus, they were a team that were doing strategies, and they did it the most consistent. They may not have been the best because they were the, one of the weakest teams, but that's the thing. They won their matches, right? In terms of using the uh, weirdest strat. And very few teams actually did a weird strat. There was some encirclement stuff, but they were they had the most and most, most consistent. And they had the highest to prove, right? They, they, they came in from the lowest aspect and were pushing themselves uh, since they literally told us they never, ever won a game before. So congratulations. Again, every single one of these prizes will win about $20. Not huge, but again, it is something. Um, I also offer uh, people for this prize if they want to get like a Grey Shop Production shirt. Uh, but I feel like most people are like, yeah, just give me the 20 bucks. <laughs> that which is which is fair. Um, we also got uh, the Pacific Entente and specifically to Shirley. Uh, this was Shirley's uh, amazing effort to blow up his own units in the enemy base. He got into the enemy base, used a pioneer with a upgrade ability to throw satchels and used one and then walked into the second charge and blew up both of his men. So you figured he would have learned from the, the first one, but he didn't. So congratulations on getting the biggest fail. Second place might've been the German Sherman, but that was one bad retreat. This guy did two separate actions immediately upon, like on top of each other. Um, Trish Hutt is the person who's going to be winning, uh, I, the, I believe award, uh, the press F award was the last one. I believe award is the RNG win of the tournament. And we were trying to figure out, cause again, I feel like next time again, we're going to be a little more specific. Uh, we were trying to figure out like what's something that is so rare that, uh, a, a player does, or it's in the game or something like that, that just doesn't happen. And we, we scrolled over footage and we we couldn't find anything from Relic side that was like a plane crash or anything too insane because a plane crash would hit but didn't kill anything right so we don't we don't really want to do that but the uh, what Trish Hut did was got two Vet Five Panzer Fours which is extremely rare to keep alive uh, it had a number of times where the shots would bounce and they escaped or good micros. So I feel we, we felt like if there's any rare event, it's not one highly vetted unit. It's not two highly vetted units of this, uh, but it's the, the same unit, two highly vetted units and being the MVPs and surviving. So that's who won the uh, Trish hut. And the last two were play this and the last one were player awards. The uh, cult of Skippy was a team award, which makes sense for a, uh, you know, a, team strat right for a weird strat in order to win that won a match and then uh we have comeback starts now award this is the best comeback of the tournament this goes to a team and we felt that go that went well with co2 boys uh co2 boys were the team that literally at first glance had an ai right but they were so goddamn determined that they gave it their best shot to overall win that match right uh, to, uh, but they still lost at the end the thing was the next match they just fought like hell and it was truly one of those shots where you're just rooting for them because they just had such a bad instance and some bad luck but they were just they came down from the lowest point and the enemy team's like oh we got this and no it did not happen so we felt like for a comeback moment because yeah, there was a lot of one-sided fights uh, that Co2 boys adequately fit that role and was probably the best showcase of it. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, so Co2 boys, you guys will be winning, uh, you guys will be getting your prizes. So congratulations there. Um, as well, Herpy for the Cope scripts, uh, for the, he was a secondary character, uh, secondary, uh, person as like a backup. 
We asked the Cope Scripts and Herpy declined to receive a prize from the, the main one. We do want to give Herpy this because uh, this was the best teammate helping another teammate in the tournament. And specifically in this case, uh, Herpy went above me on to try to help out his team. Specifically, if I have here right now, is because of the, um, excuse me, sorry. Uh, because of, I believe, the King Tiger, I want to say, from what 151 here, that was just trying to, and with us uh, pulling away forces, helping out his team, causing a major distraction that helped his team gain, gain advantage elsewhere. So he took the brunt of the damage and lost a lot, but managed to overall win the game. So we're going to be sending that to Herpy to make sure that he gets his secondary prize. So that's all the secondary prizes. Again, I should be saying it and notifying everyone this weekend so again thank you guys for your patience on that sorry it took so long for me to announce all that stuff i wanted to make a video but with everything going on from work overtime again to kind of give a basic idea for overtime um la like uh, the pay for the paycheck i just received i put i put in oh god what was it i think it was 26 hours of overtime right during that paycheck and then last period i put in about I think 10 to 12 so again not a, that much but it's i've just been doing a lot of ot and uh yeah it's there's very specific reasons for work why that's going on um hopefully that's resolved but i don't know uh we shall see what happens in the future but yeah no i am i'm hopeful i uh, <laughs> hopeful i can continue to spend time making content because that's what i want to do but sometimes i just don't have time uh which is why in this video which i want to edit uh can't really edit as much as i want uh but yeah no again uh twitchcon was a blast had a great time had a great time with everyone i met everyone was fantastic the panels i went to when the, the stuff hopefully will be adding to the stream is gonna be awesome so i i'm it's good i like even with my back in pain i i can't and a lot a ton of overtime over the past month i cannot deny the fact of how much i've uh had a great time with all the content creators and everything at TwitchCon. And because of it, it revitalized a lot of stuff I want to do. So that's why I'm going to be adding, adjusting everything on my streams to make them look nicer, make it look better, uh, and also make my YouTube content better because I want to keep improving. And uh, you guys bring a lot of that. Seeing, uh, talking to other content creators really helped revital revitalize me, show me how lucky I am to be the position I am. So again, thank you. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy all the updates coming up. I, it is hot, it is October, so expect some maybe Halloween-esque games to come out again. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I want to try to add some, uh, additional community aspects where they can alter the game, like sound effects, stuff like that, while I'm playing these scary games. But, uh, we'll see. We shall see. Anyway, thanks again, guys. This video is a bit long, but want to make sure I got everything through. And hopefully I'll uh, see you guys on the next stream or next video. But thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is GrayShot17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters. Joey G240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.